welcome to the second session on subspace topology uh, we will continue with the uh, examples of subspace topology before we go into more theoretical aspects okay so uh, this is example number six if I remember right so now what you want to do is let us take R2 with the usual topology okay whenever we write Rn with no topology mentioned it's the usual topology given by the standard metric okay right um, yeah uh, my subset A is the union of axis that is set of all x, y in R2 so that x times y is 0 that means x is 0 or y is 0 that means it's just you know axis right now take a typical point okay a comma b and a right so again you can see the there are two cases can somebody say what they are case 1 a b is not equal to the origin case 2 a b equal to the origin right so suppose case 1 right then I want to know what are the typical open sets containing a b in the subspace topology Suppose my AB is this, right? Now, what are the now what a, a typical open set? Call it U. B. B is the form U intersection. My set A, and U is open in standard topology R two, right? What are the simplest open sets which contain AB? That is, if you give this a point P then it's a ball of radius r bp of r right therefore when i choose r small enough right and an intersect yeah what kind of open set you get so you are going to get see this is my let us say x comma zero this radius r therefore it will be x plus r this is x minus r therefore the, the typical open set b will be of the form okay uh, s comma t where x minus r less than s less than t and x comma sorry x plus r and t is upon zero so that is this line this is my a comma zero this will be a minus r this a plus r comma zero if you want uh, do you understand whereas on the other hand if i take my point p a b equal to zero zero then i have to take typical open ball therefore it will have line segments okay so if this is my u and my v will be U intersection A that will be union of two lines, right? That is this line and and the, the other line. So you you know how to write it, yeah? So how will I write it? I write it as set of all x y in A actually. Therefore, what should happen? this x where will it vary from minus r to r therefore minus r to x less than r and y is 0 and union x comma y in a so that x is 0 now and y will allow to vary between minus r and plus r these two line segments okay these are the typical open sets okay 
outside the origin it's very simple it's almost like intervals okay if i think of that part of that uh, axis as a part of a line that's interline uh, intervals whereas at zero it is union of two line segments okay so now let's go to example number seven so uh, let us look at uh, let us look at some first simplest cases R with a VIP topology and VIP of course as usual zero right now suppose A is a subset of R okay now zero is a VIP right A is a subset of R what is the natural cases I should consider so there are two cases right case one when 0 is in A, case 2 when 0 is not in A. Right? Let's look at case 1. Okay, suppose 0 belongs to A. Right? Now let's start with any A in A. Now what are the typical Okay, if V belong to tau A, then as usual V is of the form U intersection A and U I look for simplest or basic open sets. in VIP topology with a 0 in U oh sorry with A in U right then I know U is of the form the simplest thing is A comma 0 even if A is 0 it's a single term 0 itself right therefore when I intersect U intersection A it is exactly U again because 0 is already there yeah therefore the basic open set containing A is of the form a comma zero this is for every a so therefore for every a in a the simplest open sets simplest sets containing a and open in the subspace topology is of the form A comma zero, right? So what can you conclude? Now the so this is again. Therefore, tau A is nothing other than the topology VAP topology on A with zero as the VAP. Okay, pause, review, proceed. Now there is case 2. Suppose 0 is not in A. Again, let's go back. Arguing as earlier, the simplest open sets are A, 0. Therefore, my U intersection A will be singleton A right so and you take any a in a it's a non-zero element therefore it will be singleton a otherwise it could be zero also right anyway so so all singleton a for every a in a this is open in the subspace topology therefore tau a is nothing other than the discrete topology on a so pause, review, proceed. This is example seven. So example eight, you know what it is? It is R with outcast topology. Okay. So I shall leave this as an exercise. okay right now oh, example 9 example 9 let us see uh, okay let us take uh, R2 with the order topology 
remember x1 y1 is less than r equal to x2 y2 if x1 is less than r equal to x2 or x1 x1 is less than x2 or x1 equal to x2 and y1 is less than y2 with respect to this order topology please okay watch my videos on order topology I don't want to spend more time, but let me look at this is the thing. If I take a point A comma B, the simplest two open sets containing R of this form. Okay, the simplest open sets containing A B R of the form X comma y in r2 so that x is a but y is bit okay between a minus epsilon less than sorry b minus epsilon less than y less than b plus epsilon so this is b minus epsilon this is b plus epsilon okay these are the simplest open sets keep that in mind yeah so with this now we can work out some examples suppose my x is a is x axis then i want to know what is the subspace topology now that should be pretty easy for all of you right yeah why because let's look at this is my x axis right take any point what is the simplest open set? Simplest open set is like this. Right? This is my U. Okay? Therefore, U intersection X is only this point. Right? Therefore, yeah. Therefore, U intersection my A is only that point, whatever the point A comma 0. Singleton. Yeah? Because any point here, what is the U? is set of all points of the form a, a singleton a cross b minus epsilon sorry minus epsilon to plus epsilon right u is of the form singleton a cross minus epsilon to plus epsilon right therefore when i intersect it's going to be only the singleton right therefore Tau A that is on the x axis is the discrete topology. Subspace so topology on the x axis induced by the order topology on R2 is the discrete topology. Okay. Pause, review, proceed. Now these are all lemon. You think the case itself there are a subcase I want to look at. Suppose my A is the y axis. Okay, or even any vertical line will do. Now notice that if I take a point okay, this is zero comma b, and what are the simplest two open sets here? I know that this is 0 comma b plus epsilon and this is 0 comma b minus epsilon so this is my intro right so this is my u therefore u intersection a is u itself the, therefore intuitively if i think of y axis as a real line okay it into okay it's actually homeomorphic right Okay, in fact, they are homeomorphic. With respect to the topology, okay, then the topology is the usual topology.
do all of you understand so of course i should leave an exercise to make sure that you have followed this logic see now you see that the only thing you have to learn to work with order topology is the simplest open sets containing a given point p equal to a comma b if you have learned it you can do the wonders okay i don't know why people are really scared of order topology anyway now let's look at this one okay this is supposed to be y equal to x line okay y equal to x line okay my a is the y equal to x line okay what is tau a okay this i leave it as an exercise these are all very easy okay please do that okay right now uh, yeah yeah let's go to this is example number 10 wow that's fantastic right example 10 let us look at r with co-countable topology and a of course be a non-empty subset of r we, i want to know what is tau a okay this is going to be purely set theoretic okay now i can't draw pictures etc so i want to work with abstract symbols and explain okay please go through these are the kind of things students have problem with set theory they only know very easy things okay anyway let's do suppose we belong to tau a then what does it mean v is u intersection a what is where is u u is in tau cc what do that means what r minus u that is u complement is countable yeah right so uh, let me just look at a picture even though i said i don't want to write pictures this is x okay and this is my a oh, okay sorry this is my u and this is my a right now do you see the picture the picture already tells you something u intersection a is what Th this portion okay right so this is going to be my v right so if i take out v from a this is the complement this is the complement a minus v so what do you know about that right you can see where it is contained it is contained in x minus u therefore what i can expect is it must be countable do you understand if v is open in the space topology of a then the complement of v in a that is a difference v must be countable this is what the picture seems to suggest but you have to give a rigorous proof do all of you understand let us do that okay so let us look at so what is this i have the notation is above as above therefore my v is u intersection a and r minus u that is u complement is countable okay now i want to look at a minus v what is a minus v a minus v remember this is a intersection v complement yeah yes right now how do you think i will do that let us go slowly okay so let us write down the definition so this is set of all x in a so that x is not in v right see that's why the picture is there now i want to work through definition of a difference v this is clear but what is v x is in a and x is not in u intersection a is that correct because v equal to u intersection a. yeah now x is already in so if x is 
not in u intersection a if x is let us see if x is in u intersection a what does it mean this is u one only u x is in u and x is in a right therefore if x is not in u intersection a that means one of them is false either x is not in u or x is not in a or both but remember the x i took is already in a therefore the only possibility is x is not in u do you understand this implies since x is already in a okay right sorry x is not in u intersection a okay implies since x is already in a x is not in u do all of you agree with that yeah x is in u x is in a therefore if x is not in u intersection a x is not in u or x is not in a but x is not in a cannot happen therefore the only thing which can happen is x is not in a. therefore this is nothing other than x is in a and with x is not in u this is same as saying a intersection u complement and this is a subset of u complement therefore this is this is countable right and this is a countable sub this is a subset of a countable set therefore this is countable therefore i have proved a minus v is countable okay please go through this proof this kind of a <laughs> rigorous set theory usually it's not done okay either you look at the picture this the picture already showed that you see that a minus u where it is contained then okay that's what you did it is contained in a minus u from a remove u that's what we saw see from a this is a minus u that's what we saw look at u complement intersect that is a okay this is same as a intersection u complement yeah so we have seen that do you understand okay so what do you conclude conclusion the subspace topology on a is again is the co countable topology because if v is open we found that v complement in a that is a difference v remember v is already a subset of a understand v is already a subset of a right therefore v complement in a that is a a difference v is countable okay therefore it's a kind of topology okay please understand this is usually these things are not done and especially set theory the rigorous proof you may not have seen please go through it okay i spend one more time go through the proof if you are not very comfortable you should do that okay all right now let's look at uh, uh one more example suppose x tau is a hausdorff space and a is a non empty subset of x okay can i claim this is also hausdorff so remember what is what is hausdorff mean if i give you x1 and x2 in x x1 not equal to x2 then I can point u1 and u2 open xy in ui but u i intersection u1 intersection u2 is empty right now do you think I can do that yes because you give me a and b in a a not equal to b now a and b are elements of x therefore there is a u and v open in x okay and okay a belongs to u b belongs to v and u intersection v is empty right okay now let's look at my u1 which is u intersection a now a belong to this and therefore this is in tau a and similarly b belong to u2 that is v intersection okay or v let us say v1 okay <laughs> v intersection a that belongs to tau a right right but what is here u1 intersection v1 that is 
u intersection a intersection u intersection v intersection a that is u intersection v intersection a this is already empty therefore this is empty yeah therefore we have shown it is again housed off okay let me see whether there is any more example i would like to say or this is more than enough yeah uh, last example with that i will stop let us look at r with a lower limit topology now let's look at the same zero one do you remember that was the first case we looked at with respect to usual topology right now let us look at one okay so what are the say okay what are the typical R sim plus open sets containing zero remember here the basic thing if you give me any a the basic sets are of the form a plus epsilon right? therefore they are of the form zero to epsilon zero closed epsilon because zero has to be there right and similarly if i have zero less than x less than one if this is x okay then i can again take x to x plus epsilon so that x plus epsilon is less than one to choose an epsilon so that x plus epsilon so like this these are the simplest two points that now come to one right now what are the simplest two points that notice that so if v is in tau a and one belong to this b must be u intersection a and therefore what are the simplest two open sets in the lower limit topology containing one they are of this form one to one plus epsilon right therefore u is of the form one to one plus epsilon therefore when intersect a this turns out to be single turn one you understand therefore the simplest two open set containing one in the subspace topology is singleton on itself All right okay now before i finish up this is enough this is the end of examples enough since i have a time let me look at one more thing suppose a is a subset of b and b is a subset of x and the extra topological space right now on a i have two topologies how many of you can guess what it is yeah i can construct a as a subset of x therefore i have let me say tau a let me write it to our precision sake tau x a that is the topology on x induces a topology on a now i'm sure you know what i'm going to say what is the second topology this is the first topology second topology is a is a subset of b therefore on b i have the topology tau x b or tau b the subspace topology right therefore a is a subset subset of the topological space b tau b right here i consider a as a subset of the topological space x tau you understand therefore i have a topology on a which is called tau b the topology on b namely tau b restricted to a it induces a topology on a okay don't lose heart it's important to understand the subtlety okay we are going to claim that they are the same these two topologies are the same right but the problem is to understand the question what we are looking at the answer is very easy okay don't worry i'm going to prove that so So what is that I want to claim? So we want to prove 
tau a is nothing other than tau b right now start with the, any w in tau a and then w is of the form u intersection a where u is where in tau x but remember a since a is a subset of b a is same as a intersection b therefore i can think of this u intersection a intersection b do you follow that but this i can write as u intersection b intersection a right i hope you know how to prove this rigorously okay All right okay but then where does this belong to this belong to tau b therefore this is something like b intersection a where v is in tau b that means this implies w is in tau of b so i start with the w in tau a i proved it it is in tau b so pause review proceed these things usually are said okay they are the same as can be checked easily but i find many of my students had trouble because they don't even understand the subtlety what of the question okay is it clear i start with the w in tau a so how does it come it comes as u intersection a where u is open and x but a is i can write as a intersection b because a is a subset of b now rearrange this because commutativity therefore u intersection b intersection a but u intersection b is in tau b therefore it is of the form b intersection a v is in tau b therefore that is in tau b okay very good converse reverse inclusion okay now suppose w is in tau b then i want to know whether it's w is in tau a yeah again the proof is the same so w is in tau a what does this mean w is v intersection a and what where is v v is in, in tau b since v is in tau b what does this mean v is of the form u intersection b therefore this is u intersection b intersection a b is intersection b but b intersection a is same as u intersection a because a is a subset of b there this says it is in tau a okay so go through these things i think we have given a dozen examples of various kinds and if you have mastered these things it's more than enough okay you will feel confident how to work this aspect topology so as i said in my uh, earlier days and when i defined topology do uh, open sets etc i gave you the very important trick the trick is whenever you see a new topology the question you should ask is you should look for is given a point what are in some sense the simplest or typical open sets containing that point that is a golden trick which i taught you remember that i again used it in these school lectures yeah we will meet again we will have take it further to do some more theory theoretical results okay till then take care stay safe